Good day everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to estimate the cohesion and friction angle of a rock mass. So this is very important, especially if you do slope stability analysis, you need to know these values of cohesion and friction angle. So um, to do that, uh, well, you can use uh, software like rock data, or you can just use these charts um, that will give you uh, some estimation of uh, cohesion and friction angle. So let's start with the friction angle and then we're going to the cohesion. Um, for example, let's look at the rock mass um, that made of uh, basalt. So we need to know what uh, rock it is so that we can get MI. Where did I get this MI? Well, there is a table of uh, values for MIs. So what you can do, just find it uh, somewhere um, either on the internet I probably have a, a video when you use a hook brown failure criteria. So you use uh, this value of MI. So for each particular rock, uh, there is a value of MI and the range. So I already look it up and for basalt, MI is uh, 25. And this is what we're going to use. And also we know that uh, that rock mass, it's uh, blocky with some uh, face surfaces. So it will give you geological strength index of uh, 60. I have another video how to use a geological strength index and how to um, get these numbers uh, based on the rock mass structure and uh, surface conditions. Please watch that one. I will put it um, in the description of this video. And uh, what we also know that well, we did um, uh, unconfined compression tests and for a few samples of like uh, this intact uh, basal, uh, basal samples and the average uh, value of UCS it's about 14 MPA so that should be enough to get some estimations because we know the uh, strength and we know the type of rock and we know the um, structure and the surface conditions of the rock mass so uh, okay let's look at uh, how we can estimate friction angle uh, we're gonna look at this chart and we'll start with the geological strength index it's here 60 and then here you see this value of mi so basalt uh, generally it's actually very hard rock that's why it has a high value of mi it's here so goes uh, this way so you see where this uh, line of 25 mi crosses 60 and that will give us a relatively high value of um, maybe 41 right so friction angle of uh, rock mass will be around 41 degrees maybe 42 right doesn't really matter 41 42 okay so this is what you do with friction angle uh, for cohesion, it's a little bit um, a little bit more complex. So in this case, you see you have ratio. So this is cohesion divided by uh, this value of uh, unconfined compressor strength. Or we also use uh, sigma ci. So sigma c means unconfined uh, compressive strength, and i means uh, intact rocks. So this like small rock samples that you test in the laboratory. And we have this value. Uh, this value is uh, 14 MPA, right? This unconfined compressor strength. So uh, what we'll do next again, look at uh, uh, geological strength index, and it is uh, 60. And look at MI, and we have basalt 25. So that will be the line. Uh, goes all the way here so my estimation so this value will be 0 0.062 that's my estimations right maybe you get a slightly different that's okay so what uh, we can write right now that um, I'm gonna do it here that uh, cohesion divided by uh, unconfined uh, compressive strength is equal to 0 0.062 and from here cohesion will be uh, 0 0.062 times that unconfined compressive strength 
0 0.062 times uh, 14 and that should give you value of about 0 0.868 um, well here we use MPA because the value is given is MPA so this is the value um, well for fresh basalt if it's fresh basalt this value is pretty low but as you see that we're dealing with uh, probably like weathered basalt because uh, this value is 60 which is pretty low and this uh, unconfined compressive strength it's only 14 MPA so um, typically the value of fresh basalt can be more than 100 MPA so okay so this kind of makes sense and this is the values that uh, you can use for slope stability analysis um, I have a video how to do slope stability analysis probably have a few that you can do by hand manual and you can use software so I'm gonna put links of those videos in the description for this particular video so that uh, you can later on uh, watch them well uh, thanks for watching this video and have a nice day bye